Welcome back. In case you're just joining us, it's still the agenda show reaching live from the nation's capital in Abuja. And just like Messi said, we have a very interesting topic for you today. And we'll be introducing you to someone in the studio who will be giving us perhaps beautiful insights to our topic. And this topic is an interesting one, so I want you to stay tuned. But before I get to introduce my guest, let me read out something to you. It says in Nigeria, the statistics of women in leadership roles have been gradually improving over the years. While there is still progress to be made, there have been notable advancements in recent times. Women are increasingly taking on leadership positions in various sectors such as politics, business and civil society. Organizations and initiatives are also working towards promoting gender equality and empowering women to assume leadership roles. The growing presence of women in leadership in Nigeria reflects a positive shift towards uh, more inclusive and diverse leadership structures. However, according to a new report from management software company uh, Texio, about 76% of top performing working women received negative feedback from their bosses compared to just 2% of high achieving men, which analyzed performance reviews for more than 23,000 workers across over 250 organizations. Well, your guess is as good as mine. Today, we'll be discussing women in leadership with precious Olofi Yoku. How are you today? I'm very <laughs> well. My name is your name. I have to call it in syllables. <laughs> Thanks so much for having me, yeah. viewers. Good evening. Yeah. If you're fine. Yeah. Um. How you doing, Very well, thank you. Glad to have you join us in the studio. You too. <laughs> yeah. So, um, is um, we are introducing her because she is going to be part of the team. Also, she is um an in-house um should I say analyst because it's not guest any longer. So, <laughs> in-house analyst. How thank you doing? You. How is the? Let me ask uh, Messi's question. How is the economy treating you? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's confidence question. <laughs> How is the economy treating you? Yeah. You don't look bad. Thank we can't you. look like what we are going through. <laughs> we can't look what we are going through, really. That's it. Um, it's okay. But in Nigeria, this is not. The way this is way this your, is okay. It's going it's okay. 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 Said, Immediately, you mentioned in Nigeria. <laughs> the way in Nigeria, I don't understand. In Nigeria. <laughs> From top to bottom, <laughs> <Yeah, you get. laughs> everybody is actually feeling the ease. <laughs> exactly. You know, you know, I was in a vehicle coming to work, and uh, as a passenger, a fellow passenger just said, "Oh, they asked the driver how much," and the driver said one thousand. He said, "He didn't complain. I, I didn't say <laughs> he didn't complain." He said. All of us, we are feeling this. <laughs> <laughs> it has much. All of us, we are feeling no problem. <laughs> feeling so let's just continue feeling it. Yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah, uh, yeah. We hope that the economy things gets better. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 we can't we wait pray. to. We can't wait to because I, 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 I tell you, it's something we've not seen it this hot. We've not felt it this hot before. It's bad. So uh, we are just hoping that. Well, many will disagree, though. But let's not go there. Let's discuss our topic today. All right, women representation or leadership yeah um you had uh, the background it said that although there's a shift however it's not the way it should it be. be now b based on the, the statements i i quoted earlier about 76 mm -hmm. percent of top performing working women received negative feedback from their bosses compared to just two of high achieving uh, men so there's there's no balance exactly. in any way mm -hmm. okay so uh to you do you think like like perhaps there's a progress um or okay integration? okay i will say um do you know that um at the beijing uh 1995 where mm -hmm. the women get the 35 percent mm -hmm. affirmative action mm -hmm. till date we've not been able to achieve that mm -hmm. the 35 percent affirmative action that mm -hmm. was signed at beijing 1995 so now coming down to the question that um do we have progress mm. for women in le leadership mm. and um taking participation in leadership and governance i would say um we have progress but not as expected okay. not as we envision or not as what the benjin uh, affirmative action suggested mm. we still don't have it so we are still far far behind so what mm. do you think has been the hindrance um a lot of things have been the hindrance like um finance mm. 
Mm. You know, women, um, uh, when you look at the society, the number of women that are financially stable, stable mm. okay, and not up to that of the other gender. gender. And I think um, workspace too, mm. the, 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 the what they use in um, looking at the, the men, okay, uh, because the men, they don't give birth, mm. they don't look after the family, so the uh, employer seems to favor them than that of women because they know that their work plan with them is mm. going to last long. There won't be, oh, I want to take They're a maternity leave, mm. I want this, I want that. So I think that has been a, uh, an hindrance mm -hmm. to, to it also. Indeed. Well, um, I want us to look at um, from the angle of um, the politics uh, but before we continue this is a reminder that you can call us to be a part of this program let's hear your take as to how we can achieve equal women rep uh, representation or women uh, playing a role in leadership now in politics there's uh, there's a saying that if, if you if you listen to some people the reason why they think women do not get as much support as they ought to they say ah Women don't spend, women don't give money during politics, women don't do that. Mm -hmm. I've heard someone say something like, ah, I, I can't work with a woman doing politics because she has nothing to offer me. They rather go with the men because they feel like they can get a lot in terms of spending money, the money mm -hmm. bag and the rest. So in a way, do you think, I, I do want you to perhaps answer all the questions mm -hmm. because I want this to be an interaction. But let me just get your take. Do you think that uh, the it's enough reason as to why women do not get the support they ought to get during elections? Um, I don't think that is enough reason because um, when you look at it, where is the money they want to spend around? Mm. We always heard of Godfatherism in politics. Mm. Have we heard of Godmotherism? God mm. So uh, that bottles down to the fact that they don't have the resources, the available resources for mm. them to throw around mm. because when you look at it is it maybe perhaps because um, women are better economics um, in terms of finance they tend to hold back in a way exactly. there's, there's limits to what they can spend because they're already thinking about how tomorrow, that money can be exactly. used tomorrow, tomorrow and, tomorrow and even our home is applicable before the mother the man can easily spend around the money mm. we say go and buy chin go and give it to the kids to buy things meanwhile the woman is calculating her money like keeping it exactly. in that, so that it's not spent sorry let me carelessly. come in in that do you know that when women have money they spend more than men i don't think so women spend more than men when the resources is available mm -hmm. because when it's not when it's not their money when it's the when it's work. available when the resources is available when it's not when it's more. the mass because money. they know how to manage it no they will make it to go into strategic places except that in terms of investment they spend on investment when is, when a woman works hard for her money mm -hmm. she doesn't spend it carelessly. but a man whether he works hard for it or he doesn't, if, if it's available, available in much, he spends it anyhow. How do That's you the get difference. That statistic? Don't worry. Let's go see. It's something. It's based on the Let me give you. 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 Let for example now i've always heard I, I have a friend who says that uh, okay i called him on phone one day i was like okay where are you i i think i needed to get something from him i was like okay that he just always seated out and uh you know taking two bottles you know mm. one two bottles of you and i was like ah, ah, you are still you know but you later you say you don't you, you complain that you don't have money he said the point is no matter how broke we are Taking two bottles is very, very necessary. Like, mm. it's a necessity. Mm. So that's what Vicky is driving at. Okay, for so you add that. Okay. Exactly. For a woman that, okay, it, let's just take uh, in, the, in, in, in the home. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I want to make a banga stew or maybe let me just say something. How would I say? Okay, let me use jello fries and stew as example. And looking at the fact that, okay, it's school period and uh, maybe the stew will serve better. At least the children can use it over the week to go yeah. to school. I can use it to boil spark, boil rice. But yeah. should I do um, jello fries? Rice. We eat it and finish it immediately but mm. if i should do stew we can use it today use it tomorrow and still some other day in the week mm. so that is so that's why i'm saying that women yeah, are better i'm not agreeing with the fact that women yeah. are better economists mm. but in terms of politics mm. women spend more than men if they have the resources mm. honestly because women have empathy and sympathy towards people no, mm. I disagree with that. <laughs> women in <laughs> politics yeah. are dogged. <laughs> women in <laughs> politics are dogged. And even, 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 um, that's why 
I don't know. Perhaps there's no statistics to back this up, so mm -hmm. do not quote me anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but, then, but, but, but then, meet men. Go and ask men and say, who That's would you rather wear with? Yeah. A man or a woman? Okay, because women when they are in certain political opposition i hear people say women are the problems of their self fellow women of their family because of remarks and, and i don't believe in that saying yeah because of the remarks and i'm saying this is because of the remarks it is it's it's it, 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 it's unfortunate but that's it, that's just the yes fact. because of the remarks mm -hmm. i'm going to say yes. that so if i'm to be okay women it's been said that women in certain positions mm -hmm. when they get there they become very dogged authoritative and authoritative rude fierce exactly okay so this can be misjudged most times fine go and check it for yourself when you see a woman boss it's very uneasy to approach her but easy to even approach the male counterpart do you know that there are places you go before a fellow woman you know reciprocate your greeting you first of all look at the hair you're putting on exactly first of all, look at the shoe you're putting exactly. on exactly first of all look at what you're putting if it's a designer bag you're carrying or you're maybe you're carrying all this okay okay in marabanyanya uh, marabanya yeah. so that is just it's just the reality but men actually don't mind and i think i used to say this and uh, let me just say uh, even though we are uh, let me just i say that we, we women will begin to do better if we can love ourselves as much as the men even if it's just half of the me, the way the men love themselves because honestly i've seen women before they reciprocate your greeting okay for example when i was making when i was in the salon making my hair i had a it was just my sister they came in and said ah your hair is fine every other person came there female and they just stare at the hair nobody told me ah your hair is fine you just not fine, fine. <laughs> are you not fine, <laughs> not fine. <laughs> Actually, we <laughs> and that's why I keep agitating that we should change the narrative. Exactly, you know, until we change the narrative, the, uh, mm. let's keep, let's change it, let's make sure that things are done the right way mm. it's supposed to be done. Mm. I think with that, that will help us to grow. Okay, mm. indeed. Well, let's sh give a shift. Gender equality in the workplace. Still talking about leadership. Now, um, you find out that most, uh, although companies are doing better than before, but if you are, if you have to look inward very well the other day there was something i saw and it was a picture of a board meeting mm. and i looked at the picture i said there is no woman in this board meeting okay even before i said it someone had already commented i said how do you know what was in my mind there was no woman so in if you look inward i like i said many companies are trying like if you look at zenith bank and the rest they are trying you yes, have uh, those people there. Uh, yes yeah, exactly I but but in in, in 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 like media stations you find out that it is hard although they are there but they seem to play figureheads right like the people you could just bring but they don't make the decisions so do you think gender equality in a very in its own um uniqueness can be really achieved in our workspaces actually it can be achieved in our workplaces and in every other spl uh, spaces if we are ready okay are so how ready? ready what is what is the readiness about mm. tell us what the readiness it, you're talking it, about the readiness is. comes with um individual commitment to it mm. if we want to achieve gender equality it begins with everybody each and every one of us mm. okay for example we, we have the sdgs uh, this is uh, the 17 goals mm. and which uh, gender equality is goal five yeah. and um the the world is looking toward 2030 that all these goals should be achieved mm. and this is 2024 Four. Yeah. so in six years they want uh, gender equality access to water no poverty good education everything to be achieved mm. but where are we Mm. Six years to go. But let me let me dive in, let me dive in a bit into uh, our political system. Let's just say we have thirty six states in Nigeria, and out of the thirty six states, we can how many if, how how many of the female can we even boast as deputy governors or even the governor? Talk more of there president. No exactly. Mm. So talk more of president. So I feel like I feel like correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like in every aspect, not just the workspace, especially the political aspect. And to me, if you ask me, I feel like women can do better. Women would do better in some political offices but what do you think have been the hindrance let's just say politically precisely because then in national assembly it was just two years ago so 
a woman um, sponsored a bill about this particular um, leader, women in leadership. Mm. So uh, it didn't fly through. The bill didn't scale through. So it's can't, I, because <laughs> how many people want to support? <laughs> so when I when I I, I had uh, I had someone I was speaking with uh, a lawmaker, then I was now asking him. I say, ah, this bill. I didn't see people support this bill in the house. So yeah, is it that you don't uh, you don't want women? Do you know the first thing he asked me? He said. Okay, I was I was observing the plenary. I said yes, of course I was. That was how I came to ask you. He said, the women in the uh, the women in the house. How many of them raised their hands? Mm. I was I, I didn't know what to say again. So he told me he told me he said women in leadership actually they can do better, but it's going to take a lot. He even confidentially told me that even if that uh, uh he said okay if I thought the bill would even fly that she ha she would have to do a lot of lobbying i said why do you have to lobby what you know it is right he said because that is the economy and that is the that is the the the, the fat and that is the state which uh, the country we find ourselves in women are not given certain privileges and i keep asking myself why is it so well uh, let me let me come in i feel like in a way that if we can go back to the grassroots and what is the grassroots the, the people from the very very even in churches okay now for instance i was telling you uh, as to the the um the post i saw about uh, the uh deeper life uh trauma jesus being the first woman to climb the pulpit to minister yeah, yeah. as an artist and i'm like really does do this thing still uh, exist in this dispensation like we well i know it's doctrine in a way mm. but even in churches if we can um do away with things like this you see, some people say before, no pastors, women cannot be pastors in churches. So they give them positions like just women leader. And that's all. Mm. And that's what transcends even to the political space. So we have to go back, okay, to the society from the very, very small village yeah, and community. The society even the classrooms. Because and the teacher, society, let's, start let's start from our homes. <laughs> let's start from our homes. Exactly. Our individual, let's start from our individual That's homes. what I want it to is say. Just that mm. the society has actually assigned rules. Mm. Mm. Exactly. And that is it. That is why you hear yeah, a man there who says... There is no, ge so there is no gender rule. Yeah. Indeed. There that is why in a family you will hear a man say, uh, "I am the w I am the man of this house." Even when the even when the contribution or what the woman is trying to point as is very very valuable and vulnerable, mm. the man that's a, a you know I, I just uh, okay let me let me not just say uh, the global world. Let, let's come down to the African world where we, because we are Africans. Let's start from the African path of it. It is just natural and it's just <laughs> it is just a natural thing for women to be subdued because. Starting from the family, you hear man to say, "Ah, I must, I, I will be this decision. My decision stands. Mm. My decision is the final." Mm. Even when what the woman because was the man told, is the head of the home. The, one, the man is head of the home, and that ego has gotten into them that even when a woman is bringing something very, very vulnerable to the table or in the baby, picture, yeah. they it's still want the to. Man is the exactly. Head of the so woman, neck or hand. No. no. <laughs> the woman is the neck. <laughs> I should be asking you the woman is the neck, but the man is the but head. But forgetting that the neck cannot exist, <laughs> the head cannot exist with the neck. Yes, As yes, the neck is a better part of the body. Uh, so while the man sees through to what happens in the home, mm -hmm. the woman also plays a very, very important role because without the neck, the head cannot cannot move. stand. Yes, but actually, some women are the head. Every home, the women, the women play. Uh, women play the role of even like in keeping because the role. They manage everything. everything. The finance. Even the man. The children, they manage the man. They the look after the man. Yes, true. So why are we the men? Okay, so okay, I was having an interview. <laughs> I'm, 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 okay, I was having an interview with a traditional um, tra tra traditional leader, and yeah. he told me that uh, all this gender gender thing who is to do who should not eat. <laughs> Because his wife is a gender advocate himself. He told me that the, one of the directors of one of the very big institutions when it comes to uh, pushing up gender uh, mm -hmm. issues. And mm -hmm. he said the woman, is a, his wife is a director. She knows not to bring it to the house. Mm -hmm. Even though, the, like, when he's, when he's outside, he's the head of, according to him, when he's outside, he's the head of the, the home. Family. You understand? But inside. When he's inside, he drops it too. And goes inside and knows that the woman is the CEO mm. controller of the home. And yeah. you, you but can't my see question, man, have an issue with his family. Yes, he will not have issue with the family. But mm -hmm. how does that improve our society? Exactly. You understand? You pretend as though you carry the the bag, the the the, the honor, everything as being the head of the home. Are you really the head of the home, or are you the head 
you know, <laughs> are you the head? Like, like, if you can, if you can, if every man can push the narrative that the women take care of the home, mm -hmm. I'm not the man. Perhaps we'll achieve the gender. Yes, role. I'm saying it. Before we can achieve gender equality, I said it the other time that everybody must play the role, yeah. including the men. Uh -huh. The but men must support it. But are they ready to? Because they feel like they are evil. Because they feel like their ego will drop. I think there are some men too that are actually supporting it. It's just that the percentage. Yeah. Yes, it's very few. It's just that the percentage is very low. But I think I know, and I pray we'll get there someday, somehow. Yes, men. Yeah, you know. Uh, okay, I wanted to point out about this same gender roles. Who makes gender roles? Because, okay, I was discussing with it's somebody. Society. Yeah, society, culture. Yeah. Society. And I'm not coming in. I don't come in. I don't look at it. And if you study it very well, you know that it has never been favorable to women mm. right from the days of our mothers. Oh, it's so, hasn't been and I, 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 I yet, like, human beings make those gender And do you know that uh, when the other gender want to talk, they will tell us that we are the one enjoying the whole thing. That <laughs> day to day been sidelined mm. by the or oh, the male yeah. gender yes some of them when they want to talk they'll be like no women you own everything you do this you do that okay there was a conversation okay of course the the conversation there was a conversation that happened that uh the um this man was saying that okay, we have a ministry of women affairs. affairs. Mm. That do they have ministry of men, men affairs? affairs. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine that mm. when you know that every position you occupy exactly. is only the ministry of women, women affairs? affairs. That we, okay, there was a governor that even appointed a man to be commissioner for women affairs mm. in this in Nigeria. Nigeria. How do you how do you want to know what the women are going through, what the girls are going exactly. through, they, how their body operates? What is happening to them? Mm. Okay, so I feel like the reason. The issue we're having is the fact that women are portrayed to be weaker vessels. Yes, yes. exactly. And they are pity. Change that narrative. Exactly. But do women want to change the narrative? Well, that's the question we'll go into when we return back from this break. Just stay with us. Do you want wider patronage of your goods and services? Do you want your goods and services to have traction? Do you desire to make more sales and increase your return on investment? Captain TV has got you covered because you can achieve all this with reasonable amount of money. With modest charges, we are the best around here for advertising and product promotion. Whatever you want to say, Say it for us on Captain TV. We are a global multimedia platform aimed at positioning the African viewpoint. On Star Times channels 480 and 124 and free to air Nikon Sats channels 12518, symbol rate 29500. With crystal clear digital signals, we reach no fewer than 54 million viewers around the world. For advert bookings and sponsorship of programs, please call Silas on 081. 615-19559 Khadija on 070-713-721-15 or Ruben on 080-234-477-03 Kaftan TV Imagine, Imagine a beautiful world. world Do you want wider patronage of it?
Uh, welcome back and this is still the engender show on Kaftan television and we are reaching you live from the nation's capital abuja but uh we are on something before we went on that short break vicky well oh, you, yeah, you were course. saying how can um how do but do, are women ready to In change the narrative are women ready to change the narrative okay i was having another interview with a woman and before i even got that interview it was hard <laughs> then when I was interviewer, I was interviewing her on feminism, mm. and she said she's not a feminist. I said, okay, good. That is very good. I'm not a feminist. But what, she said, what do people define define as feminists? Hold feminist? on, hold on. And she said nobody should be a feminist. That women should be pampered by men. Mm -hmm. Women, okay. The man is according to her, the man is the head. So women, women should enjoy being whoever they want to be and not be feminists and say oh they want to run for positions or oh, they want to do that oh they want to do that oh, wow so it means that even all these uh, um young ladies we see um uh, young ladies they do not want to even mm, as much other as wife lift a finger they want to that other trophy wife trophy wife other wife, wife. <laughs> wife that's what they call it they don't want to go out they just want to be inside paint their nails and perhaps sure. that on instagram and, yeah. like, and that's how life is so do we do you think women are ready to put in the work because when you're talking about change change demands a lot of work yeah are you it means that you are going to be as the male counterpart exactly. it means you are going to work as much you know i was talking to miss Midi and she tells me how she's she tries so much not to be withheld by anything and she has to double her effort, effort. being a mother okay being a woman in a workspace you see these things she you have to just double effort even more than the man and yet little recognition is given to you so do you think women are ready to <laughs> or they just they just want to be their other wife can you see a man if you see a man right now that will say baby girl just stay okay <laughs> Just stay. I, I send send me your asa. What do you allow us? Do you think you want to, to continue the fight of gender equity? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Actually, um, let me start by saying from your interview that you had because it's so surprising that I'm hearing uh, <laughs> uh, a woman should sit back, be pampered. Mm. That's uh, that women don't want to be at loggers with the mm. men. Yeah. That's the definition of that person's for oh, yeah. feminism, mm. and it's not okay. Like I do say, I'm a feminist, mm. and I'm proud to say it yeah. anyway. Feminism is not a fight against men. men. Mm. We are not fighting them. We are not saying, oh, this is uh, you go and stay at the back or leave this space for us. Mm. No, that's not what feminism is all about. Feminism is about equity and equality. Okay, if you have the opportunity to work in this space. Let me be given such opportunity to. Mm. Don't let me be limited. Limited, limited because of my gender. Mm. No, that is what we are saying. That mm. is what we are agitating for. So coming back to your question that um, are women ready? Yes, we are ready. Few of us, if you are ready, are you not ready? I'm ready. <laughs> are you not ready, Messi? Are, are you not ready? Are you ready? Hundred percent. Messi, we are not ready. Messi loves not to be pampered. Let's look at that money. No, the one thing about it is making your money is sweet. It's sweet. You yeah. Spending your husband money it's is sweet. Sweeter. You get that yeah. kind of thing. But at the end of the day, what gives us that good morale? is knowing that you are bringing something to, to the, the table. table add values mm. people love people that had value mm. but do you agree with me that some men will tell you they, they don't they don't want you to bring anything to the table they mm. just want you to see but that, i think uh, see, see it has not changed men now the narrative has changed yes if that's you look at it very well it's typical Igbo man it's typical Igbo man that has real money has when changed. i say money Messi, you know I when say i say, say money changed. okay name typical Igbo man that has money because i no, know i just say and his wife his wife sells that, 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 that yeah. not about her Let, no, let's not talk about i mean offices like one uh, that will take you no. okay. for example that will always take you out of the house you're, you're either in france or paris they have one businesses of their own and they travel these yes. people they have to they work for somebody. their wives yes behind the cameras yes so it's not all what we see on the camera is <laughs> social media today is what people give you what you want to see exactly. and not exactly what, what is, is happening, happening in their life indeed mm. so this man empowers their men and um, their women rather, women rather indeed mm -hmm. all right um still talking about um, leadership um well we've talked about i don't know the challenges women face mm -hmm. mostly they say women are the problems of, of themselves. themselves and many have said 
they do not align with that perception that women mm. are problems. I, I don't. Align I've had with I, I've had a guest to here that said she does not because she knows women motivates women. Mm. Yes, she knows their networks that help women communities that help women yes. grow. Mm -hmm. But it's that I feel like in a way it is men that paints that picture that women are the problem of yes. themselves. Yes, and it's men that paint our hair. Sorry, let me chip in this. For example, if we are close to one man, mm. like both uh, you and I are close to one man, mm. I go there to talk about uh, things, maybe what I'm facing and all that. You know, if, he, if he's <coughs> interested in you, if he has his way of manipulating you yes. to believing that maybe I'm bringing you down behind your back. Mm. That's what they do. Mm. So manipulating ourselves to e e each other. Okay, for example... There is this question that came up that um, Sarah Jubril contested for the president of this country. Mm. And um, she only had two votes. Mm. That maybe probably a uh, one on that woman voted <laughs> for her. And look at that. <laughs> and I said, then I said, look at it. There are a lot of women in that space. And I said, do you know that most men that are occupying positions like party stakeholders must have went to meet those women that do you want to lose your vote? Mm. Even if all of you in this country you <laughs> voted for her, she won't, she won't emerge exactly. as a candidate. So why do you want to lose your vote? Mm -hmm. So they have their way of manipulating it mm. so not to favor women. Okay, so how do you think um, we can take ourselves from that perception? Because it's a selling, it's selling and spreading. Mm. Let, let, let me let me let me listen to a man who say let let me, me, you are talking to a man and he will say that women are the problem of themselves. Yes. Now, I, when when I was growing up, I told myself never will I fight a woman. Because of a man, a man, exactly. Mm -hmm. That was yes. the narration. I and and, and I'll, that, that is what I want to ship in before you ask okay. your next question. I feel like talking about women being the problem of themselves. I feel like a lot of uh, advocate needs to be done in that aspect. A lot of education because it's actually people who I don't, I don't believe. Uh, okay, I don't want to. I don't believe in that um, perspective. Mm -hmm. But the, the real truth is that quite a number of it is true. Because I just gave an example. I said when I, when you go to a place, maybe before. Okay, let's just say we are all seated. We hang. We we went out, and uh, maybe a friend, uh, someone comes in and looking at her, she's looking all flashy. She's mm. wearing a good hair. She's carrying a designer bag. You know, one of us, or you see some other person trying to, you know, get closer to the person before me, bestie, and the rest of it, mm. because oh, obviously she has class and all that. But what if women are educated, knowing that okay. There are actually things you can do for yourself without a man being in the picture. That is where the narrative will start changing. Because you see someone that you got this for yourself, but at the end of the day, you come to me and telling me that, oh, my man this, this, my man that, my man this. Trying to, yes, but that's the truth. We yeah, see all of it true. on social media yeah, and it true. happens. You know that you bought this thing for five naira. They ask you, you say, my man got it for ten thousand, for, for ten naira. I've, you're just trying to make the other person dollars. you're just trying to make the other person <laughs> <laughs> last night, you're, never again. you're just trying to make the other person feel, feel less inferior. of themselves or yeah. feel inferior which is not supposed to i think that is where it has to start changing but if we have not gotten it right from that from that angle or from that aspect the rest of it is just a waste of effort i tell you in in a way because you don't tell me i understand the fact there is nothing i i i, I know myself very well and i know that our women we have our own issues likewise the men they have their own issue but you don't say man eh? fighting that's what i'm man. saying that's what i'm mm -hmm. saying until some persons are being and uh, are able to be educated in that aspect knowing that oh you you don't have to really live your life okay so make so that's why in, 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 in a way i tend to like what is happening in the society now i'm not saying that i'm encouraging it the way things have shifted in terms of marriages and divorce like in a way women do not take those abuse any longer yes you understand and men are quite offended by it yes. like I, I heard some men couple of men say eh, why can't she just stay and manage mm -hmm. you know okay so they are offended that uh, okay you men are more enlightened, enlightened. Yeah. Exactly. 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 Or, the orientation is beginning yeah. to change, change. until that, we begin so. to, until we change the orientation until the narrative begins to change until people are being educated and people are being enlightened mm -hmm. on that aspect mm -hmm. honestly you know just self-awareness is key mm -hmm. exactly i think more people are self-aware of okay who they are because there are some women in abusive marriage that they will tell you that no it's normal now mm -hmm. it's something that yes. happens if my husband yeah. don't beat me he will beat you yes they are not <laughs> self-aware but immediately maybe somebody 
talk to them, a mediator, or counselor. <laughs> something you just said just reminded me of something. <laughs> I had this neighbor then that okay, um, the, the ha after a fight and one of the one of those time of the fight, she 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 was insisting that she was going to leave. Do you know what the husband said? Eh, just this small bell that I flog out. There are people that are hitting their head on the wall every day. They are still there. Can you imagine? <laughs> so do you, do you even it has got to the extent that people are now even saying that. There's little as emotional abuse. Yes, it's even worse than even beating. Exactly. Yes. And many, do you find emotional abuse so much even in relationship, marriages? Marriages. Okay, that torture, silence, it's an abuse on itself, mm -hmm. not just beating. Mm -hmm. So, and the, the the beautiful thing is that women are able to speak up. Women are able to work out if it's for one week, two weeks, or three weeks. They say, I can't take this any yes. longer. Yes. And then that comes in place of all oh, separate negotiation. Legs. Yes, um, give some let time. Me, yes, exactly. so, let's give let's some give time. so you let's learn give some time so that you will learn. And I think it's actually helping some couples. Though. Yes, indeed. Maybe after the, when they uh, mediate and they actually agree on separation mm. for a, a, some weeks, some mm. months, and coming back, you think yeah, their marriage will actually work and all that. So well, I, I, I've had. Um, just a, bad, a situation like that mm. that after separation they are coming back their marriage is better. And they are still better. Uh, yeah but uh, that that, that uh, will, will, like i think that's too when it comes to trying to um engage women in leadership it's also i used to i used to always see on my wall i say our parents should uh, do better and uh, train your sons to be gentlemen because women are not a rehabilitation I center for badly raised men. Exactly. And now, if men are properly raised, you understand the fact that, okay, this is my wife, this is my woman, I should yeah. give her every single support that she needs. Mm. Let's not even talk about uh, the women aspect, women supporting women. Let's mm. not talk until the narrative is beginning to change. Yeah, understand that. Men, that's why we said all this thing begins from home. Exactly. It starts from the yes. family. Men should be raised better. Now. Exactly. Yeah. Because better. no matter how good a woman is, okay, if she finds her Self with the wrong man, man, it's going to be catastrophic. Exactly. Yes. yes. So we, as parents, coming up, parents, you, you're already a parent. Make sure you raise your child well. Honestly, it's teach them how to sweep. Teach, boy, teach, teach bo the boys to how to sweep the house. The, the, Don't tell the boys that they the work on exactly. the girls to clean the, the house. house. Yeah. The boys should wash the plate. The boys should also engage in taking tidying up the house. The, the boys should also be engaged. I don't tell okay. the girl that is the work of the to make boy money to provide. Yeah. Exactly. No, indeed. So perhaps those narration would change because I mean, perhaps if, when, when I was growing up, right, uh, being the first child and mm -hmm. the first daughter. Although I had a younger brother next to me, mm -hmm. but my dad always helped told me to make the decisions myself exactly. and in a way it helps me mm -hmm. understand so my brother from me like this now there are so many things i find myself doing and i'm not surprised i am not feared i'm not like uh, i'm not uh, withheld mm -hmm. okay i'm not I limited I'm man mm -hmm. you understand you, you can draw jen i can draw jen too yes <laughs> you can you can carry jen you can yes. water i can lose i can lose a socket for you yes. there's nothing i cannot do if i want that's to do it okay so that is what i learned from the very beginning and that's how parents should raise their children do not say this is the work of a girl this is the work of a boy you buy a toy the toy is a uh, mm -hmm. plane for the boy yeah you buy teddy bear for the girl, for the girl my no. brothers and sisters do not do that grow and inspire all that let's mm -hmm. now go into policy making uh, women, I know we are not there yet. Looking at the uh, SDG goal, equal representation, even in our uh, uh, house of Very reps home. and the rest. But then, how do we get these policies achieved? Since it is occupied already by the men themselves, we saw um, the um, Akoti trying to raise something. And they said it's a, it should not make it look like a club or something. <laughs> so, how do we get this? This these laws passed, the bills passed, how do we achieve it? Um, I think uh, how we achieve that is by putting in much effort and not relenting exactly. in our advocacies, in our um, awareness, in our sensitization, talking to the people that can make it happen. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, those are the House of uh, Representative, the, uh, they are bills that needs to be passed. Who oh, passed it? <laughs> <laughs> the That's the thing. So we passed need it. to lobby them hmm. at the same time. Is this supposed to be yeah. lobby? Do you need to yeah. lobby what is we right? See, at times, if you want to... And that was the question I asked. At times, if you want to 
well if you want to hold a fool or something mm. you act like a fool mm. just for you to get what you want to get true we need to okay come to the round table let's talk about this thing we mm. need this we need this can mm. it be given to us can we have it yes we okay have so it. okay for example sorry before mm. we, uh, you come on but um for example look at um the party now the uh, some party they make their form available free okay. for women political parties. Well, they, some political parties they make their form available for women which i'm not in support of that mm -hmm. because at the same time we are I, agitating for gender exactly. equality exactly by making that form available free for us you are telling us that we are weak we can't afford it exactly no and we are dependent on you yes no so you can tell us that okay when you get there this is what we want you to do and this is not what we want you to do mm. the free will you give to the other agenda give it to us exactly. and let us fly yeah, yeah. you know uh, thank god you came in with this uh thank god i allowed you land because i was going to say we should ask you said we should ask for it but uh, i've heard people say do not ask take it as women because you're asking for it you're not going to get it yes, perhaps you might yes, not get you it. will not get it but when you are going there because i'm um, doing the i think during the presidential election they were saying oh um we we want um okay the 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 i think the president should select a vice president or whether it's a woman or i think i cannot remember if it's a governorship election mm. but there were like talks of you do not you do not ask for these things you should go there Okay, in your own mobilization, we women are strong. Mm -hmm. We've done greater things in the past. If we can come together as one, okay, we ask, we, we collect it, we take it. If it's laws, we, uh, we have, even though not so many representatives in that house, but there's a way we can push for this. Perhaps if women are united, okay, though they said we, we, we should stop um, saying the advocate, um, spreading the fact that, oh, women, it's not a fact, spreading the, the statement rumor. that women are problems of themselves but if we can come together as one perhaps there are so many things we can, we can achieve. achieve yeah and i think uh, let me say this there are some wars <coughs> that you don't fight with behind um, your beings right mm. and there are some wars that you don't fight with war mm -hmm. and there are some wars that you fight on your knees mm. that you don't have to stand up to <coughs> fight it okay. so that bottles to the fact that we have to there is space for conversation mm -hmm. dialogue. agreement mm -hmm. dialogue so we need to come to the table because at times we, we say oh we want to turn this thing to uh chaos this and that we may not get the um, required the, results the, the, the results that we want but let's be diplomatic with it mm. and i know with consistency and being on it we will definitely get there right. like i said earlier someday somehow we will achieve gender equality right. yeah. well, we hope that they come because, because yeah yes. it's it, it seeming like it's impossible it's mm -hmm. seeming like it's not going to come we especially it. with the way our society is structured as exactly. i understand the um, african mentality very, it's so it's so like it's it's so ancient and when you think it's getting better you go to, to some worse. homes it's worse but we've said that in a way it must start from the home mm -hmm. when uh, parents begin to raise children and Probably. we take our children to schools that um, uh, you you see the teacher giving as much support as he she will give the male mm -hmm. counterpart because then in my classroom we ha we did not have a female um, is it what the head boy Preface. a head girl mm. okay the head boy comes first yes then there's Spoiled a head, by girl, head, girl, yeah. head girl so when you're calling for meetings or in a way maybe something that has to do with having maybe the board management guy is the head boy they call mm. then the head girl just oversees the toilet <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't, know, you know, I don't know. So it's the same thing that we're not seeing us so funny in our society. <laughs> and we're laughing date. about it up to date. Mm -hmm. We're laughing about it, but it's no longer funny because things are not getting the, they are not the way. Look at the statistics. Now talking about that same um background mm -hmm. I read. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's talking about um it said seventy six percent of top performing working women received negative feedback. Mm -hmm. Yeah okay so let me talk about this feedback now because most times when you see a successful woman 
<laughs> there are many people who tell you that she's sleeping with her boss. I was going to say that. And guess who was in my mind? Because I was, I was, I was fully there on social media when she was appointed the uh, Zeni Bank woman, the, the one that was appointed as the director. Yeah. I was fully there. I heard the men saying, "Oh, what, what do you expect? Can't you see that she's looking fine? She must have slept her way to the position so and the rest of it." It's, so it seems as though women cannot achieve anything without being uh, it's tagged. being accredited. Is that it's tagged. Tagged. a man? The, she's sleeping with a man. She's following men. Okay, or should I say, ah, this one, this one is very saucy. So there's always bad comments, bad. Well, when a man becomes maybe head of the boardroom or something. Exactly. Nobody says that thing about it. They say he's dedicated. He's hard working. He over the years. Exactly. He, like he, 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 he burns night candles, but when he's a woman, it's a problem. Even if it's the smallest position, even if it's just the smallest of it, it's always a problem. Why is it like that? Do you think that narrative can be changed? I, I think the narrative can be changed, but not anything. Because, but, but, it, but even when you look because at it, even when you, you are fully aware that this woman walks herself to the top, exactly. it is always accredited no, to the men. Exactly. Okay, aside from it being accredited to the men, even if she walks herself to the top, they say that woman, that woman, she is very disrespectful. She is rude. She is proudful. Yes. She, she is arrogant. <laughs> she used to control her husband's yes. Yes. All yes. people. Her husband. <laughs> and, and and that's, that's, do, do you know when... Um, when I started working with my uh, former boss, that's one thing she actually made me to know. She said, if you want to grow, you must be ready to be called names. Yes. And that's the society we, we live in. Mm. Yeah. The society we live in. Mm. Because a lot of people, they are going to attach your success to a man. Exactly. Mm. It's always and, uh, going to be accredited. That, that actually uh, did not pay, play f out for me because I was working with her and she's a woman. Mm. So I was working with her then. So all my success story. But immediately I got another job mm. to actually uh, another man, man was my boss. Mm. <laughs> the narrative changed. It changed. <laughs> <laughs> like everything that I've achieved in my life so far. is that man. Mm. Mm. And this is the kind of society we are it has a lot to do with uh the person you are talking to you keep batching you keep saying this thing to affect them mm. because during during those periods i was uh, telling you uh, talking about it was not an easy period for me mm. i went through a lot mm. so just imagine me my own little space mm -hmm. going exactly. through such thing mm. and now imagine people you that are there, there oh out there exactly. that are Okay, okay so I'll give me this instant before we go. Um, before I got married, my husband to be answered then, my husband now, was saying that, ah, that when he told his friends that he was going to get married, they said, what does she do? And she said, she's a journalist. Say, hey, journalist? <laughs> <not> my <laughs> journalist? <laughs> you know, any man she would have slept with? <laughs> okay, so, you see, tags like that. Yes. Okay, yes. no matter how successful you think, I'm, I'm not even yet to that pedigree. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But I'm being tagged. Yes. As a whole. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay, because I'm in a, in a field. Field. Mm, that perhaps they, they say that. Yeah. And I can imagine, I can imagine what uh, people like that go through because I've been in that show mm. once at a time. I had, I interviewed um, Adam Mugadba some time ago. I think that was last two years or something. So, in the course of the interview, you know, when you sit, I was seated and probably my camera person did not direct the shots well. Okay, because Adamu uh, is a public figure who is not liked by many of the Nigerians, mm -hmm. however. So, after the interview, and uh, he shared the picture of the interview. Oh my god. I woke up one morning and I had to, <laughs> it was even my boss that screenshot some of the comments. So, comments, as in, I say, I was, social media was on fire. I was trending. People were like, that one, that one is not interview. You, you people, the both of you had something that you do it together. I, I was traumatized. That you one, you can't even see comment. I will say, I was hey, traumatized. She's here to sell herself. Oh, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah, to do things this. like that. Mm -hmm. Some of the persons were saying that you did, so someone was even saying, Ah, can't you see the way he was looking at her thighs? <laughs> <laughs> it was traumatizing. Yeah. Well, well, all this is just indeed. Why we look for a way to perhaps tame that um, narrative that has been sold out by so many people, most times even perpetrated by said by women that mm, yes, look, yes. At, look at the show with TV, on TVC that she, um, a topper was called out by a caller, a female, female caller. caller. Something she can even a uh, topper can be accessible on Facebook and exactly. you could DM her, mm -hmm. okay? But you had to call her, so it, it, things like that should stop. We yes. should not be at the verge of bringing people down, down. with, with, with our mouths, uh, whatever our actions, our comments, whatever. 
we shouldn't do that. That's, that's, really, that's the only way we can attain this leadership, uh, leadership potentials we are looking for in the society, in politics, in what have you. Because if we stand united, we cannot be divided. Yes. I am Victoria Andy. And also, we'll come your way some other time. My colleague has already said it all as a woman out there. We need to do better. We need to be united because, like she rightly said, united will stand uh united will stand divided mm -hmm. would fall and um, until we come your way some other time keep watching kaftan television i am messi emily do have yourself a great evening bye, bye for now bye